Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to build an inventory management dashboard in Excel that track most important KPIs. This dashboard is a interactive and a dynamic dashboard where you can check your inventory KPIs across the time and the category. It will adjust itself and how you can take actions on it. So we will divide our tutorial in four parts. First, we will be talking about what are the inputs are required in order to create this dashboard. Then we will be talking about what are the KPIs we are going to use, what their formula are, what are the functional meaning of these KPI and what does high value mean and what does low value mean and which value is a favorable to your business. Then we will check about what are the computations, how to calculate these KPI in Excel, which formula you should use, and then how to create this dashboard with the help of multiple pivots. Okay, let's start. So first of all, I just want to walk you through what are the key KPIs this inventory management dashboard talk about. So the first on the left pane, we have this average inventory card. It shows about the global average inventory for the time period which we have selected. Then what is the inventory turns? We are going to talk about why inventory turns is important. What does it mean? Then there is a days of inventory that at any point of time, how much inventory you are carrying as far as the data of these time are concerned. Then we have this area chart or a heat chart where we are showing that which location is having how much inventory. User can also check inventory by the item category. Let's say how much percentage of your inventory is blocked by spare parts. How much is inventory blocked by consumables? How much by finished goods and how much by raw materials? Then user can check that the how much inventory they have been carrying across the month. It is also very important in order to analyze what are my seasonal month and what are my non-seasonal months. Okay. Then we have the inventory to sales ratio. Another very important KPI to analyze that how my inventory management is going on. Then we all know the reorder points that uh, for each of the SKU or you can say the top SKU which you want to uh, take them in your analysis. You can check that okay what reorder point they have right now. Then you have what's the economic order quantity. So it's something like so it is something like that whenever you are going to touch this stock level you need to order this much quantity at least in order to be financially feasible okay moving ahead let's check the input data so this is the basic input data you need to have in order to create this kind of inventory management dashboard this data has your item code your item description the category in which this item belongs to the location where this item is stored what was the unit cost at which this item was purchased, how much quantity you have purchased and how much quantity went outside of this item from your location. Then some demand standard deviation just to check that uh, how variable the demand is. If you have a higher standard deviation, it means you have erratic demand. And if you have lower standard deviation, it means you have quite a smooth demand. Then you can also check what are the lead times in order to get the things and uh, what's your ordering cost uh, here i am just using a standard 40 as a ordering cost just to ease of the calculation for euq and uh, same for the holding rate holding rate is something that uh, what's the interest rate basically you are paying in order to carry your inventory industry standard suggests that it is something between 10 percent to 20 percent so here we are taking it as a 20% which comes down to 0.2. Now there are something called what's the target inventory as your safety stock target. Your safety stock target can be different for your each of uh, 
the item and they can be different as per the month as well because safety stock is derived from the demand variability and the supply variability just for the ease of calculation i have taken a standard or a static number for the safety stock or the target inventory stock great so now what are the kpis which we are going to consider and how to calculate them and what their business meaning is let's check out so these are the kpis which we are going to consider in this inventory management dashboard tutorial the first one is safety stock so there are various formulas in order to calculate safety stock but one of the most common applicable formula is this one where we have z value multiplied by standard deviation of demand and multiplied by square root of lethal for the item which do not have very smooth daily demand they have erratic demand like sometime they have some day you are getting higher demand and some day you are getting very low demand so in order to cope up with the higher demand uh, days you should be able to use your safety stock and there should not be any stock out or losses the second kpi is reorder point reorder point is a point where when your stock reach to this level you are supposed to raise a order to replenish your inventory how to calculate it the easiest way to calculate it is you need to calculate what your average daily use then how much time it take for you to get that material that is your lead time plus how much safety stock you want to carry with you so the formula is simple which is average daily use multiplied by lead time plus safety stock now comes the third kpi which is eoq we have a standard formula for it which is square root of 2 multiplied by annual demand multiplied by ordering cost which should be divided by unit cost multiplied by holding rate the full form of eoq is economic order quantity so whenever you are going to order the order quantity should be such that that you can get best value of the money which you are spending so the lot size of your order should be such that that it will give you higher benefit in terms of financial feasibility now coming on the average inventory average inventory is nothing but just average of your opening and the closing stock so we just have opening stock plus closing stock divided by 2 which means that this much stock i carried on that day if you are checking about a month then it can be the average inventory for that month so this is a approximate number it's not an exact one you can also use a eoq to calculate this as a eoq by 2 if you are using eoq for your cycle stock if you want to know what the cycle stock you can comment and i can uh, create a video around it as well now comes to the cox cox you know that cost of goods sold which is how much sales you have done from that location for that item multiply by the unit cost same way the inventory turnover so what does inventory turnover means inventory turnover means that how much time you have replenished your inventory for that item in that location so you will be calculating it by calculating cost of goods sold and divided by the average inventory both of them should be in the dollar value so that you will be knowing that how much time you are replenishing your inventory in a month let's say if you are calculating monthly inventory turnover and that comes as a 6 it means you have replenish your inventory 6 time in that month coming on to the another one which is days inventory on hand it means that at any point of time how much inventory you are carrying for that item at that location so generally what it is there are many sophisticated ways to calculate it but the more common or easy to calculate financial metric is inverse of the inventory turn multiply by the number of days if you have annual data you can multiply by 365 if you have monthly data you can multiply by 30 okay just to get the number of days so it just inverse of your inventory turn over multiply by the number of days you want to calculate then we also want to know what the out of stock out of stock is nothing just whenever your inventory is below your inventory target it means that's out of stock 
whenever your stock not at all available at the location then you can keep your target as zero and uh, you can have this formula like closing stock is equal to or less than inventory target so in which in so in case of zero it will work as well now the inventory to sales ratio so now you will be calculating that how much you are selling and how much you are carrying correct let's say you are carrying 10 inventory you are able to sell 10 units as well on daily basis it means whatever you are procuring you are able to sell it's effective management correct so but if you are carrying more and selling less it means you are not doing good job at sales so that is why it is very important kpi to track that whether my location where i am putting my inventory sales are doing good or it's a wrong location because there is no demand for that item so here we are saying that low value of this kpi turns into the effective inventory management it means that whatever is required i am able to sell that but the high value means that i am carrying more but i am selling less it means i am carrying the excess stock or the sales are not very good great so now how to compute these kpis in the excel let's move to the computation tab so all of these yellow headers are the input data and this blues one are the calculated one so if you want to calculate that the closing is stock it just uh, you can see that uh, addition of uh, opening a stock and what quantity is getting replenished minus your demand and then uh, you can have your, what's the average daily use your safety stock the formula which i just told you reorder points eoq average inventory in dollar box and, and other kpis which we just discussed so now in order to create this kind of dashboard what we need to do we need to create various pivot why the pivots are required because you want a dynamic dashboard correct so in the dynamic dashboard filtering should be applied as per the need so you need to create a pivot table which has filter in it and that can update on the filter selection and then create a chart over and above it so if you go to the pivot, I have created multiple pivot on the average inventory, reorder point, EOQ, and then COX, inventory turns, days of inventory, out of stock, and inventory to sale ratio, and many more. After that, I just need to take this data in a tabular form and insert any kind of uh, chart. You can see. So if you go to the dashboard, we can create this kind of dashboard easily by the help of uh, usual pie charts and uh, line charts and uh, area charts and waterfall or whatever it is, correct? Very easy to create. You just need to add certain shapes here and uh, you can add those shapes, then add any text box. These are the these are the text box you just take the value from the pivot and it will work the way you want correct automatically if you can see that if i am moving from gen okay so the value of the tokyo and the singapore is moving so yeah you can check uh, the dynamicity of this dashboard this dashboard will be available for you in the description link and uh, you can take this dashboard educate yourself improve your knowledge and use this template for your personal work correct it will give you more insight if you want video on the excel tutorial on any topics you can share the topic with me i will try to include in our coming videos till then if you like this video do like share and subscribe thanks for watching